Capsized cargo ship is now one step closer to removal. More than 320,000 gallons of oil was removed from the Golden Ray. Back in September, it was leaving the Port of Brunswick when the ship started listing and then it completely fell on its side. Several crew members were rescued after being stuck on board for hours. On your size, Troy Class learned that salvage crews are making progress. The weather conditions in southeast Georgia are delaying the next step of the Golden Ray salvage operation, and that is removing the propeller and rudder of the ship. A windy day on Jekyll Island. Choppy seas means no cranes near the Golden Ray, and not many fishermen in the Jekyll Fishing Center. It's my wild face. But Sandy Bowen says the people that do come in often to ask about the cargo ship. Well, they're concerned about the wildlife with any oil or fuel leakage and all that. They want to know when it happened, um, where it's at. It's also brought some good business to the shop, but some are ready to see it go. The St. Simons response team says the process of transferring cargo between ships is finished. All 320,000 gallons of accessible fuel was removed, but there's still 4,000 vehicles on board, along with whatever fuels and oils power them. Susan Inman with the Altamaha Riverkeeper says they continue to monitor any oil that may leak from the ship, concerns they've documented in surrounding areas. It's kind of stabilized at this point. Um, you know, the oil that is out there is still there, and what they could clean up, they cleaned up. Um, but there's, it's still out there at this point, and so we still have to kind of wait and, wait and see. The work to remove the propeller and rudder, which weigh 130 tons, will begin in the next few days, a sign that progress is being made to people like Bowen. When it'll be gone. Because um, I do, I worry about the wildlife and everything also, the environment. The timeline for the ship's removal has not changed and is expected to remain in the sound for at least another year. Troy Kless, First Coast News, on your side.